Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be talking about yoga, how I use it to look for restrictions in my body and how uh, I kind of uh, do that with the energetics every day is I look for restrictions in my mind and my spirit. So if you think that's interesting, uh, definitely check out this video. So I, I need to come in high energy after that intro, don't I? I, I noticed that it's like, bah, bah, and then I come in, I'm a bit low, low energy. I've, I've done my yoga this morning and uh, I just want to share with you something I find very interesting. I've spent um, 25 years working uh, with my body or in athletics or, you know, uh, high level sport, um, ballet, football, MMA, um, you know, working with athletes um evaluate you know top athletes olympic athletes and everything so uh being uh, privileged in that respect uh, but when it comes to my body um out of right now i'm 47 and i find that um the you know i, I love doing chin-ups I, I like doing like circuits and stuff but yoga is is so fantastic and i'm kind of if you're a yogi person already i'm i'm uh, preaching to the converted already um but just the the thing that i find interesting about it is when i'm going through my moves and there's nothing fancy i'm just looking for restrictions um and i'm using my breath as almost like a scanning so um, i breathe in i scan down deep into my body and then i uh, let that breath out and then it comes back up so there's this constant um scanning and i'll be like, oh that's interesting that my diaphragm's restricted in that movement and then i breathe and the breathing allows my um my central nervous system to calm down i let myself uh my body allows me to move into that movement at its own pace so when when i when i'm when i'm doing the poses i'm looking for restrictions yeah and and i'm always bringing my awareness back to the midline of my body which is my biocomputer and it's the strong energetic you're strongest when you connect to the midline so the the line that can uh, separates left and right side of the body and uh, i noticed that when i practice it's it's coming back to that midline uh, so i'm balanced centered and stable that's where the practice of bringing your attention inwards yeah um and the thing i do every day also uh, and this is what i do for a living is um, I am so yoga is like gardening for the body you're looking for the areas that need some work and any energetics is what I call it I'm trying to work look for a different name for it um, at, at the moment because that I don't know it just uh, I'm looking for something it's not I don't know the answer yet but when when I go inwards what I'm doing is I'm seeing how I feel that's almost like the yoga is like how do I feel where's my restrictions and with my, when I go inwards, I'm like, oh, I feel a little bit anxious, or I feel a bit angry about that, or my breathing's a bit tight, or so I go inwards into my my perceived reality, and I look for sort of restrictions or thoughts or beliefs, and then I work on them and clear them. So yoga is gardening for the body, and energetics is gardening for the mind. So you know the two, um, you know, are beautiful companions. Uh, you need to move move that body every day, get things pumped, twisted, compressed to allow energy to flow in the body. And you need to go inwards every day and look for the restrictions, emotional, mental, spiritual restrictions and clear them to allow the energy to flow. And it enlightens you, you become lighter from doing that. So you're kind of shining light into the dark areas of the body that where there's no energy flow. So just uh, those are my thoughts on that. Um, if, love to hear your comments on your practice what you do every day and uh, please like and subscribe to this video that will be really helpful thanks so much take care